So, let us get back to our uh, this in course. Before we go further, apparently there are some items of discussion, some which pertain to our four week workshop like uh, how will we uh, tell people about this workshop, how we will get their engagement etcetera. Uh, two of you had some brief discussion with me and we will elaborate that further. The other Sahana you are mentioning some aspects about uh, 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 some other things on which you said we should have some brief discussion here. Yes, so in fact let us let us let us get to the detailed activity list because that will exemplify everything that we want. So, this is for the main workshop ok. We will talk about the activity list for the workshop and then subsequently we will talk about before workshop and after workshop that will conclude the entire thing that we need to do. So, the workshop itself the two week engagement that we are talking about we will have lectures delivered by IIT and we will use ISRO VSAT or webcast whatever works. Primarily we are interested in using ISRO VSAT because it provides us with a two way communication. The lectures typically will be held in the mornings as the normal schedule. The coordinating remote centers which are your centers will conduct tutorials and labs ok. The key point for consideration right now our discussion is what exactly you will have to do there ok. So, let us expand on the tutorial and lab business whatever. By the way the tutorials will be set up from here, the labs also will be set up from here and we will be sending you the tutorials and labs and the assignments etcetera which are to be carried out. But there are two components, one a short component and the other is a larger component. The short component is also to teach the teachers how to set up the environment at their place. The second is how to use this setup to teach computer programming. Now, what I suggest is that you would have set up the environment earlier there for them to use this. That should be exactly the same environment which they will be supposedly using at their colleges while teaching this course. So, we will start immediately with the computer programming itself. That means, the first week and a half would be actual computer programming course covering the entire syllabus that we talked about including questions, answers, tutorials etcetera. And the last four days of the course would be conducting labs of the kind that you underwent here namely setups and so on. There is one danger here if you do it in the last few days do you think that the teachers who attend could still have some questions in their minds and some confusion and therefore, when they go back they may not be completely uh, adequately understanding everything. In which case the other way to do it is that in the first two days we have labs which will tell them about this installation and other things and then in the subsequent days we have the course. And then on the last day or last two days again we have a revision of what they have and just like we collected a feedback like what kind of environment you have etcetera, etcetera. You should do the same thing from those teachers and that feedback session and all we will conduct through the lectures here in the, in the morning and in the afternoon 
we will have prepared a detailed format which you can get it filled up from them. In fact, you can get up get the filled up format at the time of registration of the candidates itself. So essentially, when we talk about the labs and tutorials, there are two kind of things. The computer programming portion itself and the second portion is computing environment. Now this what we can do is even during the lab hours we can actually have the presentations that you saw by our TAs for the lab setup and so on. We could arrange for those presentations in the form of lecture from here and then only for the lab you can take them. Ideally if you have a situation where you can get the classroom come lab kind of environment. Even you see we even do not have it. So ideally what happens a classroom come lab environment you will be actually sitting with a computer in front of you. Whenever we are not discussing anything related to computing environment you can just keep on taking notes attending normal lectures. But whenever we are talking about installation and such thing you simply go to your machine and start executing them. Whether that will be possible at every place I doubt because what you will have probably is a connection from your VSAT to an overhead projector in a classroom. So we presume that the environment for lectures will be like this. Now here also we toyed with the idea that uh, Mrs. Vijayalakshmi and Dr. Subhadra could explain and demonstrate here and then you go to the lab. But they said we could do it there itself by setting up a facility for demonstration. What we could do is that for every installation lab that you had, now you have some experience doing that and we have some experience in making presentation. So what we will do is the presentation part we will consolidate and we will keep those presentations ready and we will deliver those presentations on installment and installation and other things as a presentation lecture. So that lecture can be even in the afternoon that lecture can be attended to by participants in a regular classroom. And then you can take them to the lab where they will follow those instructions and do those. Do you think this will be more uh, sensible? Okay. So computing environment and installation even here we will say lab presentations by IIT. As to what these presentations will be we will further edit them but you will have a glimpse of it when you get those DVDs. No, this lab presentation come demo. So during the demo we can capture the screens which people will see and additionally we will have a printed material with them also. So demo means they will just go through where somebody else is setting up, somebody else is giving instructions, etc. So instead of you giving the same instructions there, they will do that. But they, but how can they get instructions from IIT unless you have a connectivity there? One option is, is we, we did this session, isn't it? Okay. No, this is uh, that is one possibility you can train your people but this is an excellent idea. We have the recorded sessions. So suppose we decide to use the same recorded sessions at each place. Yes, yes, correct, correct, correct. So if you want we can do one more thing. We can do further refinement of those lectures and attach supplementary uh, 10 minute or 15 minute explanation for the questions that were, that are being raised. And we will make that presentation and this together and we will make it available on CD to everybody because that is already available. So we will make it available to everyone ahead and in the laboratory but you should have a projector in the lab to do that. That, that will be much easier. 
So, so use the projector and the uh, uh, DVD here uh, to directly play that and simultaneously run the lab. And since you all have control, you can stop it wherever you want it. So that will be a better idea. Okay. So, so I will say lab presentations by IIT, but I will also mention pre-recorded. I wish I had known this, then we would have set up a better mechanism for recording it because right now the questions we are not getting recorded. Okay. So what I will do is I will ask my TAs whether they remember those questions and at least put them in text form or something. This extra 10 minute thing that clipping that I will like to add will relate to those questions being answered or questions being recorded. Sorry. Okay, so there are two sets of CDs that you will get. One within a week we will post it, so within 10 days you should get it, will be the first rough cut recording of everything that has happened, lectures come labs. The second set you will get with the edited CDs for the pre-recorded portion. Is that okay before the, fine. Anything else that you feel that remote centers should do to tell us more so that we take cognizance of that while arranging lectures or anything? I just want to convey like all people will, will be working uh, at the same time. So can we have week by week update of everyone doing whatever, what they are doing so that everyone will be doing the same thing in that week. Uh, so they will be having target like next week we have to give uh, assignment. So everyone will be completing that by that week. Like oh, oh yes, yes. The whole two week program, you are talking about the workshop now, oh, now. between now and preparation. Yeah, okay. That's an excellent idea. This is by and large clear, this is what will have to be done during the workshop. Okay. The workshop schedule itself we will arrive at simultaneously and that is the schedule which will impose on everybody. Okay. But we are agreeing to these crucial dates 6th of July to 22nd of July. It may be 21st whatever, something like that. Basically, it's a, it will start on a Monday and end on a Sunday. Yes. But this will, I uh, means uh, there is no first year teaching that will happen during this time. So the first year teachers should be able to attend this. And the coordinators should be free to do this. Yeah. So in tutorials and lab you mentioned two points, computer programming and the lab. So this is a small, this will be the major part. This computer programming part? No, these tutorials we will be setting up here based on the portion that we arrive at and there also we will have a coordination. So that we will discuss the details of how we will coordinate in the pre-workshop activities. Okay. Yeah. Do we have more, uh, uh, more explanation about the practical sessions? Because uh, in practical sessions we don't have that much of elaboration. At a time of installation and many more things are there. Uh, come again. Here in the lab. Sir, in the lab. Here in the lab. Huh. We need more explanation there. Oh, you are not confident of setting up Linux environment and other yes, things on your own. Most of the terms are not known to us. They okay. are not followed actually. Okay. They just said that you just copy from this PDF and then paste it there. So many problems are there, why they are doing like uh, that? I, I, will, I will make some suggestion, uh, uh, please examine that. Uh, first of all, all the TAs who made the presentation, some are our M-Tech students, some are our people, nobody taught them anything, absolutely nobody. They have discovered these things by experimenting. I would strongly suggest that do that experimentation even before asking questions. You will of course make mistakes. One advantage of making mistake while installing Linux or Moodle or anything on a machine is that the machine does not shout back at you. It will at most say it does not work. Correct. So what I am saying is assume that no such session has been conducted for you. That is exactly what Ashutosh or Avnish or anybody who who told you those things, that is exactly what happened with them. 
nobody conducted any session for them. They were given a machine, they were given the Linux, this thing, they were told this is the resource. For you the resource will be CD. Okay. And they figured out everything on their own. Of course they made mistakes. That's what learning is all about. So my suggestion is those of you who because of the time constraints would not easily get to understand each and everything, figure that out first. Of course we will provide help. But I would suggest this, let the help be provided after you have tried it out. Believe me, you will learn a lot more that way. Of course, it means spending some time. It will not be too much time. And, yeah. Uh, in the same context, hmm. uh, actually I have gone through all this because hmm. I used to be the lab admin when I was studying. And Correct. what these students have done, I have also done all hmm. that. Correct. Uh, I think it would be better if they can provide a kind of troubleshooting guide for everything. Because uh, I agree that by uh, trial and error we can discover things and that's how we learn. But I noticed one significant difference between my life now and when I was a student that I had more time for doing these things that time. Right now teachers are so much burdened with other kind of work that spending so much of time troubleshooting is not going to be easily available for everyone. Yes. So if these DAs <coughs> can write a kind of troubleshooting guide, that is where the help is needed most. The answer to first question, yes. Uh, that uh, teachers do not have time to spend, too much time to spend. The answer to second question is no. I will tell you why. Unless we do it, look, look at it this way. I admit that all of you are busy. Do you think people here are not busy? Believe me, I am sleeping two hours, three hours a day, every day. And yet, I am going to do all of this myself. And I am going to get the same learning that you people did, nothing more, probably less. And I am going to do the goddamn thing. And I am telling you I am starting tomorrow morning sometime and I am ending it day after tomorrow before the sun rises. And by that time I should be able to answer all your doubts. I have not done these things for 25 years. But I do them because there is no shortcut to this. And I would like you to emphasize, emphasize it to the teachers also because they will also have the same problem. But multiply it further. Please do not forget you come from relatively better institutions. Uh, uh, let, me, let me mention this what Sahana is saying is that uh, Linux user groups or lugs, in fact they have branches in many places and actually you will find some local lug people enthusiastic to sort of help you out also. The one, and she mentioned that Google search will tell you a whole lot of things. The problem Sahana with that is the information overloads. When you search, you will get too many things. And then sometimes you have a small question and you spend more time in searching for the answer than figuring out the answer. So that is right. But then you have to also regard for the fact that they truly have less time. So make a judicious choice. But I will tell you nothing better than trying it out. I mean, uh, I, I agree with you huh. that people have to spend time, hmm. but I think that would be more applicable to those people who have actually spent some time before on Linux or some Unix for a person coming from a full Windows background. 80% of our MTech students come with a Windows background and we just make them swag in this fashion and they become Linux experts. That is a fact of life. It is a fear which is the key. Uh, uh, coming against us, nothing else. Okay. I agree with you because I have gone through that. Yes. yes. But when I try to relate things, I just can't because if somebody has, see sir, I have been trying to set up a lab huh. uh, in a similar fashion in hmm. my institute when I have actually done it myself quite a few times before. Huh. And there are so many other practical administrative problems to get through Correct. that it, those take more time. No, agree, agree, all that agree. But for this particular case that we are talking about, each one requires just one machine. No administrative setup is required. And you do not tell me that as teachers you cannot have access to one machine to do this experiment. But we are required to do the whole lab setup for the workshop. Here we are talking about setting up full. There are two, there are two distinct things. One is the lab setup, the other is getting very confident of being able to do it yourself. I am answering only the second part. The first part by the way will require a whole lot of cooperation from principals and others and so on. So let me come back to that activity list. 
which also includes my personally talking to the 20 principals and management and so on and telling them to provide whatever support. So that, that will come to. So yes and no. By the way, I am not suggesting that we will not get these FAQs done. We will get it done. That is why I said we will get some additional components done by these people. But believe me, there is a merit in you are attempting to do something. And you have to tell the same thing to those people as well. See, ultimately, why can't we compile these FAQs as part of this exercise and put them on the final uh, web page which all these teachers will also be able to. Um, I have one question. Yeah. Um, we have a dedicated ICT team. So they, they even teach um, these courses on networking and all that for students. Mm. So let's say they have some other inputs on the installation. Mm. Can I get back this feedback to you? Of course. And we will be very glad to incorporate that. That is the whole thing about collaboration. Not only you, I will say every one of you. If you have any more observations on these practical things, if any more questions which were unanswered. In fact, before it is too late, many of you will be traveling back. So you have a long journey. I have found journeys to be an excellent time, past time to recall and write things, jot things down. Type karo, send it. Even if there are no answers, just the questions which have come to your mind. Okay. Because those questions, that is what we will call a growing list of FAQs. Let, let me get back to that thing. Let us go in that order. So, let us talk about pre-workshop activities. The pre-workshop activities start from tomorrow which is 264092. This is the duration in which we do the uh, workshop activities. Majority of the work will have to be done here, but there will be non-trivial work that all of you will have to do. Okay. So let us go in sequence. Some of these activities will be parallel, some of these will be uh, sequential. So first of all, let us talk about pre-workshop, that means we are arranging the workshop for teachers, 1000 is what we have in mind, but we do not know who are these teachers, where they will come, why they will come and how they will even know and how they will decide to come. So, Do you agree that this is an important activity? Informing and encouraging prospective participant teachers. Because without that, the whole uh, uh, dream falls down. Okay. Now, ordinarily, when we hold IST workshops, typically IST puts it up on their schedule, and additionally, the coordinating institution will print some kind of brochures and circulate it to uh, everybody. So here we propose to do exactly the same thing, get it inserted in IST schedule. This will probably happen during the month of May after some meetings. So that means that June later, newsletter, if it comes early part of the month or their May and June newsletter, if it comes in the later part of the month, will contain the details of this. That is the IST formal recognition. The second thing is brochures. The brochures will be prepared at IIT and I had some discussion as I said with two of your colleagues. So what we are currently thinking of and I would like your suggestions if any, that we will print a detailed brochure which will have the list of all participating RCs. So we will say, the brochure will say first of all organization IIT plus 
all participating RCs. So there will be a list of RCs. Then it will describe the methodology, it will describe what we have done. It will say that RCs have participated in this one week workshop, preparatory workshop, etc., etc., and it will ask for registration. The registration will have to be done by email. The registration will have to be done at IIT site. This registration will not only put the name of the person and the other details, but also the name of the RC to which at which the participant would like to attend that course. It will hopefully be the nearest thing. We will ask them to put a pin code. So, if the pin code difference is too wide, we will be able to take corrective action. One good suggestion was that there are unfortunately teachers in the country who may just want to get that IST stamp rather than being interested in doing this work. There have been some IST workshops in the past where the attendance and participation has been very limited and people are comfortable completing that one week workshop taking the certificate and going back. You will all agree that we generally do not want such type of people. Even if we get such type of people, we want to be able to enthuse them to do all the work. So the brochure itself will contain a plain description that all this will have to be done, including open sourcing of the contents. I will give you a typical example where I am a object. I am a teacher in some college in Nasek and I, I am interested in doing this, but I also have a roaring tuition business. Now if I contribute questions and answers which you are going to show the whole world, then I am not interested in giving my questions and answers to that activity. The caveat is if you do not, you will not get that certificate. Even if you physically attend two weeks program, even if you get everything that you want to know, but you go back and do not do this homework and do not submit and if it is not certified by the RC coordinator, there is no certificate. We will make that also very clear. So there is some carrot and some stick. The carrot is of course you get a recognition in the IST workshop and more importantly you will benefit from the collaborative attempt in which your own name as a contributor will be listed. Now, if people think that is good enough, that is okay. If not, then this is the mechanic. So you agree that this we should insist on? Right. So consequently, what we propose to do is for each remote center, we will not announce that everybody who is applying is registered. So registration at central site will consist of two steps. One is application and the second is selection. Normally we will say first come first serve, but we will stipulate certain basic minimum criteria. For example, somebody which a college appoints on 1st of July as a teacher, he has never taught, he or she has never taught computer programming. I do not think we are interested in getting these people here unless there are not enough people, which I doubt. So consequently there has to be some selection criteria which we will have to define and that criteria we will have to adhere to. Effectively then we shall have the list of applications which is much larger than the number of people that we have and we should have some wait list. And once we make it clear even in our brochure that the selection will be decided jointly by IIT Bombay and the coordinator of the concerned RC, then I think there will be some control or let us say some, uh, I, I do not know how, how to describe it, uh, what is the better word for this, not exactly control, but they know that there is some monitoring, it is not a blind admission uh, to the program. I hope that will help. Okay. The brochures as I said will be printed ahead of time, they will be sent by us to all colleges. Uh, I also want to use this opportunity to send the brochures to colleges which are very remote even from our remote centers. Why? Because I want them to know about this program. So if we have to conduct a repeat of this program, then there could be 50 remote centers because this is a pilot and I can easily take, tell MHRD that the pilot was an experiment wherein we learned all these things 
and we want to do a refined program for larger number of people. So, if that happens, then if you are interested, you can also participate in the second offering or some other people. We can take care of it. So, this is a sort of advertisement or knowledge spread. But more importantly, we will also send about 100 brochures to each of your institutions, which you could additionally send, even if the same college receives some more, it does not matter. But you will have some personal contacts, you will know somebody in the college, who will know somebody else, etc., etc. But you will agree that unless we can assemble a good total of 300, 400 teachers in this pilot, we will not be able to conclude anything concretely, whether it is effectiveness, etc. So that is why the uh, marketing of this workshop, if you call it, it will be done uh, jointly. Major chunk will be done by IIT. IIT will be sending a letter and this thing to all. IST itself will put that in their uh, schedule. And additionally, these. Uh, what should be the timeline for doing all these? If 6 July is the date when the workshop starts, is it okay to say that by 10th of June, we should have the first list of applicants? And by say 15th of June or something, we should finalize the list? So that people have a clear 15, 21 days uh, to make arrangements and something like that. Is that is that a fair uh, thing time to? So we'll say application last date could be 10th June, and selection last date could be 15th June. I see. Probably in that time, Mumbai University colleges, uh, most of the teachers would be on vacation, sir. So, what is the time when they will not be on vacation? This time. Uh, this is the time actually, sir. Uh, this up to 29th. Uh, no, it just says Yeah. Up to 29th, anyway, everybody would be in college. That is April. Uh, 29th of April. Huh. Vacation will start. Okay. So, in fact, that could be true in most places. Vacation will start. Would you all agree that vacation will start around 20th of May? 4th May itself. So, what is the best time uh, in which we can reach the faculty members? It looks to me that the best time is like yesterday evening. <laughs> Sir, I am from COEP and I have absolutely no idea about the schedule of Pune University because most of the colleges are affiliated to Pune University instead of COEP. So, I have to check what is the schedule for Pune University. I have a sort of crazy solution to this. Because in the brochure that we are going to print, we are not going to give the detailed syllabus or detailed workshop schedule or anything. It is information essentially about the scheme. And based on what we have decided, I could describe the workshop contents in terms of bullets. Okay. In which case, it should be possible for me to get these brochures done immediately. Do you think that will help? Yes. Yeah. Hello, sir. Yeah. Can we can uh, do it as soon as it because before the people go to vacations, if in case we can tell them whether they want to apply or whether they will uh, get a selection. I think the word of mouth is the best. Like right now, I think we can start the work immediately. Right? They can so, you know, we can uh, catch on the people who want to go, like every institute will decide whom they want to send to, and accordingly, they will give them give them the vacation slot. But, sir, when there is a brochure, Correct, correct. No, no, no. It will not work. No, no, no institute will send. Uh, uh, Kalpana, what is the minimum time to prepare that brochure? No, 
there is a there is a serious legal problem there. IST has approved this workshop, but they have not yet approved the larger workshop. Yeah. Till uh, up to May 15th, we are having our practical and oral exam. Up right. to May 15th, the people will be available in the college. Even though if they have taken earlier vacation, they will be coming later. So in the uh, month of May, people will come to know about this if we get the brochures earlier. Okay. So what you are saying is, even if the brochures reach everybody by 10th of May. Yes, sir. 14th of May. It, it, will that will be will do. Yeah. Uh, that 10 to 15. In between days, we can catch. That is some, some set of people yeah. and others can be uh, informed after uh, end of May. Okay. So, what we can do is we can we can keep these dates as all right, but we will say this is the last dates, these are not the first dates, but we will have to set up the registration site and everything by 15th of May. So, we will say the registration at central site, this has to become operational by 15th May okay, and brochures to be dispatched or to reach you by 10th May. Is that the correct uh, position? But then I will need to know your HODs and principals, phone numbers, names, etc., etc., as quickly as possible. I would like to start this campaign from uh, uh, day after tomorrow morning itself. Okay. And later on, you can buttress it by giving additional names, like alternates. Uh, you know, we should get permission from IST because that word IST sponsored is also very much important for the colleagues, you know, or the, for the teachers who are coming for the program. So that word, you know, itself creates a, a big impact actually, sir. IST sponsored or IST approved, that word itself creates a big impact actually because as far as the promotions and everything is concerned, still that two uh, short term STTP 15 days each, you know, everybody requires. So there is a question for you. Yeah. Uh, around the first call and second call. First call, because the IST is being written that it is, this course is like, like to be sponsored by IST. And in the second call, you can put the logo of the IST and we can make it like this. It is likely to be uh, 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 approved as an IST sponsored workshop uh, for which initial things have been done and the approval will be notified much before the registration closes. So people can apply for it and uh, we will even, even put a box there. Will you be interested in attending even if it is not approved by IST? So they, if they said no, fine. Is, it becomes a negative thing. You see, practical psychology, Sarna, practical psychology is coming through. They, they know they are friends better. Okay, okay, that's okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. Right. In fact, the IST certification will be mentioned only almost like a footnote at the end. For those whom the IST name is important, they will read that and understand it. For those who want to participate in the dream, they will understand the pr previous description. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yes, yes. No, no, no. We are not revisiting our strategy. No, no. We'll, we'll, re, yeah, re, we'll redo this. For example, let me tell you in this workshop itself, because of the delays, I had exactly five people registering. 
then I picked up a phone and started talking to the directors of the institutions and then suddenly the registration improved and I can do that. I will have to do that to 300 institutions, that is okay. You also should do that. So the agreement was that, I mean brochure is merely a mechanism. Uh, no, two days before that. Uh, but when before I came here, I was not knowing anything about IIT. So coming to IIT and learning something is, I think, sort of course being conducted by IIT. Itself should but carry some weight, yes. We are going to learn a lot more things through this thing rather right. than getting an IIT stand. Right. So it is better than if we get a student who wants to learn rather than. I, I would agree with you. In fact, this two phase thing permits us to identify who are coming primarily for learning and who are coming primarily for IST. Although I would think both will influence equally the uh, enthusiasm of a teacher. Okay. Because the, the period of this uh, session is during the holidays yes. and um, there should be a very uh, uh, One uh, take from this uh, Mukta is that all these business of reaching people out for the things conducted in vacation should be done during the semester. So January to April for anything that happens in May, June, July that year. And uh, July to uh, October or in fact April to October for anything that happens in uh, uh, December that year. That is the first learning from this. So, if during the vacation, um, my concern was in our Mukta okay, we will have a Most of the IST workshops I believe are run during vacations only. So people who want that IST workshop they will come in vacation. Summer and winter they are like. Yes, summer and winter. Correct. Many colleges don't spend if it is connected during the semester. Exactly, because the teachers are required there. But sometimes the group management helps for some people. No, no, that's okay. So we'll be that is why. Uh, one uh, learning I had from our discussion was that I do not want just the names and uh, telephone numbers of your uh, uh, principals. If it is a private management, I want the names and uh, numbers of your management, managing trustee or something. If it is a government institution, I will be contacting directorate of technical education of each state and the vice chancellors of the universities. So vice chancellors who are no way connected with this workshop will also are going to get our brochures in a personal letter from me saying you tell your affiliated colleges that this may benefit them. Field trip. Yeah, there is one concept called field trip. That is for I. That is for IST. If it is, if the course is IST approved. Huh. So IST always asks for the field trip. But we did not arrange a field trip for this course, one week course. That is, that is for two, two week course. Wait, that is, that is what? If it is two week course, huh. normally those field trips, you know, are arranged on this. We'll we'll get an exemption for the field trip. Given, given the nature of the course. I mean, I do not know field trip for uh, either even thermodynamics or computer programming <laughs> to the lab. So, you walk, you walk to the lab. Okay. Mukta, remember to discuss this with uh, Hariharan again. No, 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 no. No, no, that is not correct. Uh, because if you are going to have an IST logo, the approval of IST for whatever we want to do. Yeah, in their rule book, it does not say field trip. If I am not wrong, this is IST sponsored project, sir. Like you to be sponsored for it. Yeah. So if IST is sponsoring it, then we have to follow the rules, sir. Yeah, but the rules do not say the field trip because they gave us a rule book.
Yeah, it's not IST funded. So you're going to add, add one. Exactly. It's not IST funded. Of course not, because if it is IST funded, I cannot give you the liberty of collecting additional costs from participants. <laughs> And we shall have a 10 minute discussion on the funding pattern also, which is equally important. Anyway, so the in a in a nutshell, the pre-workshop activities have to start like immediately, and we should send this, and we can make it a two-stage process by saying that this is uh, likely to be IST approved, for which preliminary discussions have been held, and the confirmation of IST is expected. It will be available much before 15th or whatever, and we can put it on the website that will just notify this. So that will solve. Yes, yes. Yes, IST approved workshop was conducted and the uh, permission to conduct the larger workshop as IST sponsored workshop, not sponsored, you call it what? Approved. Oh, so then we have said IST sponsored, is it? In this uh, thing. Certificate. No, we have just said IST workshop. In the certificate that I am distributing, I have said. Huh. In that case, sir, if it is approved, huh. uh, probably there may not be fund given by IST. If it is sponsored, then whatever fund you know they mentioned Mr. Harir on that day, so those funds uh, would be given by IST. That is called sponsored. Okay. IST has made it very clear that they don't have the kind of funds that I am talking about. Okay. See, I will tell you, I had thought of, although we are digressing, but we will be discussing that. I had thought of a funding requirement of 2 lakh rupees for a two week engagement, including the uh, elements of costs for uh, space rental and other things for the institution, coordinators, honorarium, etc., etc., and some minimal cost for tea, food, and other things for teachers. This 2 lakh rupees of estimate did not include their stay and travel costs. That was my estimate. Now that is all topsy-turvy as per the IST. IST says all of that to be included. That I find it crazy actually. Uh, although I used a more polite word when discussing with Professor Hariharan. And he also admitted if you agree, if you recall that these are all old rates. The moment you get IST sponsorship, even if they give funds, I do not think we want those funds. We want freedom and freedom comes if we can arrange our own funds. That there is a small technical trouble. IST is not giving funds, but IST gives funds from where? When AICT gives them. AICT gives them from where? When MHRD gives them. So ultimately the source of any IST funding is MHRD. MHRD is funding this as well. Where from I am going to give you money. Fatex pockets are rich but not that rich. I can't give you that kind of money. So obviously it will be from the MHRD funding. But I have an approval from MHRD for the conduct of these workshops. So much money at so many centers has been earmarked. That budget is 2 lakh rupees. Now what I am saying is, if I tell IST, look I am not seeking your funding. So it is not IST sponsored. It is IST approved. You approve this workshop. That gives us a leeway to charge fees to people, which we will not call fees, but charges for actual accommodation and food and travel. So you travel and you make this. Now the issue is how many people will get travel grants from their own colleges to travel. So suppose we put it as the charges, this needs to be ratified quickly because we will have to put that in the brochure. We will have to say that this is likely to be IST approved of course, you remember the word and that the, the course fees okay, would be a two tier fees. The core fees for people who do not require any travel or uh, this thing support is only uh, you know uh, uh, the workshop conduct will still put a nominal fees. It should not be zero rupees. In fact, it is from that money we will pay IST that 125 rupees we will pay IIT Bombay whatever that 125 rupees or something like that whatever. Okay. And then we will say sorry yeah. Oh, IST approves a workshop provided for every candidate who attends the workshop. IST gets 125 rupees paid by the organizers. 
No, no, they get. You can give it from the same money if you want, but they have to be paid. There are two different account heads. Granting account head is different. Collecting account head is different. Unless they collect, the certificate is not valid. Yeah, sorry. Course will be conducting during the vacation. There are three issues. Right. One is the participants may not be willing to lose their vacation, and one more, uh, if the college is not giving them any financial aid, they will not be ready to come also. Correct. That is agreed. But that is that is what the conditions are. But as as she said some time ago, most of you had no clue that this is an IST approved workshop. Still, you came. You found out only after coming here. No, 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 that is incidental. Uh, people across the country who want IST certification are well versed with the fact that IST workshops will be conducted in summer and winter. So, this is misplaced. If they want IST certification, they will have to attend during this thing. See, you cannot get credit towards your uh, increments and promotion and still enjoy vacation. Both things are not possible. We are not getting any approval from the ISD, it may be a, uh, difficult for people. Uh, this will not happen. We will cancel the course if we do not get ISD approval. Okay. Very simple. No, because yes. a major contribution to the enthusiasm of teachers will vanish, as he correctly points out. But believe me, it is not unlikely to happen. You heard Mr. Hariharan that day. You heard Mr. Hariharan that day giving talk, the ISD uh, chief coordinator. So, what? Uh, yeah, I mean, there is no question about it. He simply said he wants to charge 500 rupees per course huh. and some amount related to the per student. Right. That's all. And he is taking the permission. That's all. So, he has no problem. Okay. He has no problem. I am not worried about getting permission. I am more worried about the enthusiasm of participating college managements to support the travel of their teachers and to support the stay of their teachers. Yeah. In Bombay, many of the colleges having minimum 400 people intake, 400 students intake and in many of the colleges again double intake is there. So, minimum 3, 250 to 500 students are there, so nearly 10 to 20, 30 people are involved in there. So, at least minimum 10 or 5 faculties are there for this course, even if we do not consider any other. Unfortunately, Bombay is not the representative of the country. Bombay city is not representative of the country. No, general, it is not true. For example, suppose my institute, let us take Maharashtra. Sir. Say my institute is in Nanded and the center is in Solapur. Sir. I have to physically go over to Solapur. There is no choice. In Solapur, in that organization, there will be a minimum of two to three branches. No, that is not the point. The point is not to train teachers who are staying only at concentrated localities. The point is I must reach the Nasik and Nanded and other people also. Okay. Right. So, in the first lot, I may not be able to do that. However, what I will do is from this experiment, we will find out what are the costs of supporting travel and stay. And then tell MHRD, please give me more money to run the main program, okay, to do this. For example, consider about 30 participants coming to your place, okay, an additional grant of about, let us say, 3000 rupees per participant additional grant. Do you think you will be able to manage the travel, assuming they are not travelling from far away places because they will go to the nearest uh, centre only. In general IST course a person can come from anywhere in India. In this particular thing we want him either the neighbouring or just nearby. Do you think you can squeeze in by some very careful planning of expenditure etc. You can squeeze in the travel support where you can say limited travel support up to this much. So, limited travel support up to 1000 rupees against actual travel expenditure will be supported and in 2000 rupees if you can additionally have this. Actually, if you look at it this way, if you remove the complete cost of everything else, 2 lakh rupees for 2 weeks is much more. So, I assume that if we, we rationalize all of our costs and I would like you to do this thinking again, that page have you circulated to them? the page which uh, IST rule book that you have. Okay. Please go back. This is urgent. So, please go back, consult your colleagues also. Tell me the following. Said 2 lakh rupees, if given, how much of extra money 
you have to take care of the participants stay and food in that 2 lakh rupees. Forget the IST norms, actual things that you have to cost, assume that. Imagine that you are able to take care of the cost of the course including coordinators, honorarium, etc., etc. in 1 lakh rupees that you have 1 lakh rupee extra which can take care of these participants. Imagine now I put another 1 lakh rupee to in your kitty. So I arrange to give you 3 lakhs and not 2 lakhs. Now in 3 lakhs can we take care of all the participants including their stay etc etc expenditure. You can average it out. Some people may not stay. Some people may be local. Some people may come from outside. But those who come from outside you give them some decent accommodation and food, nothing 5 star. If you can manage it in 3 lakhs and if we conclude that, then right now today I am telling you, I will give you 3 lakh rupees for this pilot, no issues. Where I get that 1 lakh rupee per center extra, I have already done some background processing. There are what 12 centers or something and if she runs 3 centers, we will have at most 15 centers. So I need additional 15 lakhs. So Kalpana, oh Kalpana is not there. She is the one who finds, tell her to find 15 lakhs more from this budget. But we are approving that right now. Instead of 2 lakhs, we will make it 3 lakh rupees per center. Now, do you think 3 lakh rupees is a reasonable amount to conduct this workshop, including everything, your local cost, honorarium to participate, because you will also need help of some other colleague. So, obviously, you will have to arrange for some honorarium to that colleague and the student stay and everything. Assuming, of course, that 50 percent people may come from outside, 50 percent. Ah. Correct. No, but why should he come? We will not admit him. Correct. Right. I, I agree, I agree with you. In fact, I would suggest that even if local people are there, you do not have to give them TA, uh, TA, but you please arrange the accommodation and food there at your place. Because residential stay means something else. Uh, we agree with that? Okay. So, general agreement for the budget, the budget is 3 lakh rupees for each center. I do not know how I will sustain the larger one because my 18 crore budget will go to 20 crores. No, but, but I would like to know why he is not going to Coimbatore. Because it may be the case, some of the lady may be residing in my location. He is on vacation somewhere. Okay, okay. So we will we'll, we'll take it with a pinch of salt, but I will be terribly surprised if there is a large migration across the country of teachers just because of this. <laughs> is it? No, but then at that time you never, uh, you never have in the past an IST course being run at 20 places simultaneously. This is the, this is the first time it is happening. Yes. So anyway, we will all learn from this. But I, I, I am very glad we had this digression and this discussion.